Hey, what's going on guys? Mike Anderson here with Living Motion Monograms and the 1% Solution. Now, I know we've all been in the same situation before. You get to an event, you set up your projection, you get ready to project an amazing <laughs> video monogram up on the wall, and things start to go south. <clears throat> it's the wrong size. Maybe you're projecting from a little farther back than you thought you were going to need to. Maybe... Uh, the area that you're projecting onto is a little smaller than we thought it was going to be. Uh, there's only so much we can do with the optical zoom on the projection. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your video editing software to easily make three different size videos uh, just to have ready at your event. Check it out. Well, I hope you guys are ready because this should be pretty quick and easy and pretty much no matter what video editing software you're using, the techniques are all going to be pretty much the same. So uh, first thing we got to do is make our motion monogram. So we're going to go ahead and um, open up our tool, one of our tools templates from our tools 3.0 download here. And, uh, you know, we'll do our, let's make our changes. Basically, we've got our sample names in here and we can go ahead and leave those in there. So now if you're using Sony Vegas um, or if you're and, and a lot of the other video editing software, some of them will accept um, Photoshop files uh, into the into the software itself. So if not, one of the things that you might want to do just as just to uh if it doesn't accept a photoshop file in the video editing software itself um, just save it as a png file and that's going to preserve our translucent backdrop here and that's what the checkerboard pattern is off to the right you'll see our layers here and usually when we're designing monograms we've got a black background or maybe even a pattern background here but we don't want any so we can go ahead and hit file and save as our png I'm going to save it as a PNG file here, and we'll call this monogram sample. Awesome. Okay. So now we got our, let me show you guys how easy it is to make the video, video monograms though here with the tools pack. So we've got our monograms. We've got, open up our monogram folder here. Uh, you know, first thing we want to do is uh, let's go ahead and toss our monogram in there so we can grab our PNG file, toss it in there. I'm using and, and I'm using Sony Vegas Pro uh, 13, Vegas uh, Movie Studio, Movie Studio Platinum. All this are Sony Movie Studio Platinum. All of them work really well. There's a lot of stuff you can do with iMovie. There's a lot of stuff you can do with pretty much all the basic versions, but um, you don't need a $900 you know, $1,400 version of software to do some of this stuff. Um, it's all pretty basic. Uh, and then we take our little loop, video loop that we want in the background. It says, do you want to set your project video settings to match the media? No, I want to keep my project settings. Fantastic. One of the things that I like to do with Sony Vegas is add an effect into this track, which is contrast, just to add a little bump up the contrast a hair to make sure my blacks are going to be darker black and uh, they're not going to show up on the wall and we're going to extend our monogram out to match our motion loop here so now we've got our monogram on top of our motion loop we can go ahead and if we wanted to we can click our event pan crop on our monogram itself and then this is going to allow us to uh we could zoom out make that monogram a little smaller on the video clip uh, or zoom in we can highlight that entire selection let's go ahead and render this down real quick for you guys uh, monogram one 
test one and and we're done so our monogram is rendered down and and you can tell this by this clip here we've got it in actually just one layer here instead of what we were working with which was the monogram on top of our background video loop and you know the reason why i have you render this down into the final video uh, ahead of time is just because it's a lot easier to work with that way so now we've got our final video which is our full-size video here so we can go and get rid of the rest of this stuff and here's how i Here's how we make our different sizes. Um, with Sony Vegas, you can go ahead and add on some grid lines if you want here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let's put on our grid. There we go. So here's the way that we're going to go ahead and make our different sizes for our events. We wanna make three different video sizes, just in case we wanna make that video image a little smaller without uh, trying to mess too much with the projector itself or make the put the projector closer if we can. Uh, we're gonna go and click our event pan crop right there on the uh, timeline there. And our next step, let me adjust my little menus here. All right. So then all we're gonna do is just start dragging this out. And typically I will go and uh, we'll, you can see it from our grid lines here. You know, just go in one box. And we can make our next video. I'll call it medium. Yeah, we'll call it monogram two. Awesome. And as that's rendering, uh, a little music. No, I'm not gonna. Not gonna. We'll just speed up this part. All right, that's rendered. So now we just want to do it one more time to give us one more size, something slightly smaller, just in case we are a little even further back or need to make it a little even smaller than we thought we were going to have to do. So we're going to go and select our event pan crop one more time. Let's go ahead and uh, let's back this out a little bit more again. Go in just maybe another box here. And for the last time, let's go ahead and just do render. And we're gonna go ahead and name this one. Monogram small. And another 15 seconds of rendering and it will be done once again. All right, that's rendered down. Now, as you guys can see on the timeline here, I've got all three clips here just to show you guys what exactly it looks like. So as we start this up in the preview box, you can see that we've got our large size. That's gonna transition to go into our medium size, slightly smaller, and then our small size. But again, it gives us our black background and all we're doing is shrinking that image size down. Now, this is gonna be very useful, especially again, when you don't want any other video to be actually on the wall. We just want to make the video size smaller without having to use uh, additional software at the event. Um, very similar to what we do with it, with doing static monograms where we want to, if we uh, want to make five different sizes and that way, instead of uh, uh, trying to move the projector around itself, we can go ahead and make those images smaller um, by just shrinking down the video footage itself in this case for the video monogram now keep in mind you are just shrinking the image so you're not helping the resolution you're not helping it look any better the you know obviously the best way that you can shrink an image is get the projector closer to the wall because it's actually going to shrink those pixels down and it's going to make your image a lot sharper cleaner and look even better at your event but sometimes we just can't do it so and that's going to wrap things up for this quick tip. I hope this has helped you guys out for your uh, creating your motion monograms. Uh, and if you do have any questions, make sure you uh, leave some comment, leave your comment down in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, please, please, please subscribe to Living Motion Monograms family here on YouTube. Uh, and
And that's going to do it for our quick tip today. Now, now that's going to do it for our quick tip today. Now that's going to do it for our quick tip today. Now that's going to do it for our quick tip today. And I hope this helps you guys out immensely, no matter what video editing software you're using. Hey, if you haven't already, uh, please help us out. Make sure you take a moment to hit that like button down in this video. If you have any questions, leave your comments in the comment section below. I answer all of them. And, uh, um, you know, take a moment to subscribe to the channel. If you want to make sure you're updated on new content that gets released and any live streams that we do, um, make sure that you hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button. Uh, definitely really appreciate it. And I uh, would love to welcome you into the, that Living Motion Monograms family here on YouTube. So thanks again, guys, for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.